Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. Is OSHA compliance mandatory? OSHA, or the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, was established by the Occupational Safety and Health Act of 1970 to ensure safe and healthful working conditions for all working men and women. Here's a breakdown of why and how OSHA compliance is indeed mandatory. Employer responsibilities. Employers are legally required to provide a workplace free from serious recognized hazards and to comply with all applicable OSHA standards, rules, and regulations. This includes examining workplace conditions to ensure they conform to OSHA standards, providing and maintaining safe tools and equipment, and using color codes, posters, labels, or signs to warn employees of potential hazards. Compliance with standards, Employers must comply with all OSHA standards, which may include implementing engineering controls, administrative controls, and ensuring employees use personal protective equipment when necessary. The General Duty Clause of the OSH Act states that employers must furnish a place of employment free from recognized hazards that are causing or are likely to cause death or serious physical harm. Training and Communication Employers are required to provide safety training in a language and vocabulary that workers can understand. For workplaces with hazardous chemicals, employers must develop and implement a written hazard communication program, train employees on the hazards, and ensure safety data sheets are readily available. Reporting incidents. Employers must report work-related fatalities to OSHA within eight hours and all work-related inpatient hospitalizations, amputations, and losses of an eye within 24 hours. They must also keep records of work-related injuries and illnesses, except for employers with 10 or fewer employees and those in certain low-hazard industries. Record keeping and access. Employers must provide access to the log of work-related injuries and illnesses, OSHA Form 300, to employees, former employees, and their representatives. They must also provide access to employee medical records and exposure records. Inspections and penalties. All establishments covered by the OSH Act are subject to inspections by OSHA compliance safety and health officers. Employers who fail to comply with OSHA standards can face citations, fines, and even criminal penalties in severe cases. State plans. States can develop and operate their own job safety and health programs, known as state plans, which must be at least as effective as the federal program. Currently, there are 22 state plans covering both private sector and state and local government workers, and seven state plans covering only state and local government workers. Enforcement. OSHA enforces its standards through workplace inspections and issuing citations for violations. Employers must correct cited violations by the deadline set in the OSHA citation and submit required abatement verification documentation. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.